Hey everybody, James Madison Odds here. We're in Port Orange right now and a call came out for a man near the railroad tracks here. Well, it turns out that the police are about to Baker Act him and just five minutes after recording this video, the train had just come through. So these officers here are going to be taking this man into protective custody. Now these officers have a tool to them, it's called a Baker Act. And in Florida, it allows law enforcement and medical professionals to take into custody for a temporary period of time, 72 hours, if they see fit to do so for someone that has a mental illness. Now, from what I gathered in this video, it's all speculative, but this man parked his car over here, came over to the railroad tracks and was waiting for a train. Not sure what he was gonna do when he was waiting for the train, but as you can see, officers already arrived and helped him. As I mentioned, if they wouldn't have been there five minutes later, then there would have been a train on its way, as you can hear in this audio. So let's take a look at this video here, and you can see Officer Bigelow in the middle. Uh, he's a really friendly officer with the Port Orange Police Department. If you see him, wave and say hi. A nice guy. So it sounds like a BA, a Baker Act here that's going to be going down. Uh, poor man, he was here. He's got an amputee right here. That's Officer Bigelow right there, as I mentioned before. A super nice guy. You can hear how he's talking to this person here. Uh, this man was, uh, when I arrived here, was down over here by the rocks on this side over here. And they're going to try and get him some help. probably came out as a man sitting on the railroad tracks here uh, we have a canine officer over here she's got officer a canine buddy in there that's the female there that is handling that canine and then this other officer over here hear me talk about Officer Bigelow. I do like him a lot. He's one of the nice officers over here.
so the female officer said that his car is legally parked over there so that uh, they're going to leave the car there which is nice of them a lot of times uh you know daytona and, and the other agencies they'll tow the cars and snatch them as somewhat of a penalty but uh the officer there said it was legally parked so it's going to be left where it is it's always sad you wish you could intervene and help these guys uh when they're there so he's being taken in protective custody right here uh, that is what in Florida is called a Baker Act, and he's going to be held in for uh, probably 72 hours until he sees a, but a medical uh, personnel, a doctor. So what he's doing, this must be a newer officer on the right here. This is, uh, he's explaining it to him the Baker Act paperwork, it looks like, from what I can see here. Uh, he's got to put a little narrative on there, tell him what he observed as a law enforcement officer to uh, to warrant the custody or the, you know, the, taking this guy into custody here and taking him to the hospital. They're going to take him to one of the medical facilities that handle uh, Baker Acts. And that's going to be that. I'll get the names of the officers up here. They came through. You have one, like I said, the officers over here parked over on this side. He's got his car legally parked over here. I mean, it's legally, it's in the school. They're out for summer break. Get your mind off this stuff. It sucks that, uh, you know, in today's society that we have to have to resort to something like that. If that is the case that's going on, that's what I'm anticipating and thinking based off of where he was. And I did not hear the call coming. We're going to take a look over here. That's it, vehicle number 30 right there. You have the officer inside. He's doing his, uh, his paperwork. He's going to be finished up. Well, we'll let them do their thing there. That's Officer Bigelow there again, once again. I don't know the other officer's name over there. I'll ask him really quick before I go. Hey, sir, how you doing? Hey, hey I was going to ask your name if you don't mind. Yeah, McBride. McBride, what's his? Uh, McDowell. Mc McDowell. I'm sorry. Like, no, that's all right. It's all right. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, he's, he's new training. Yeah. I figured when you're explaining the paperwork there. Yeah. So, uh, like I was saying on the video here, you guys, they guys uh, talked him down real quick out of this incident over yeah, here. Yeah, let me get out of the road. They're gonna let him keep his car over there since it's parked over yeah, there. Yeah, he's gonna sign a waiver. It's yeah. legally parked. It's so bad. A lot of times Daytona and all them, they'll just snatch a car and be like, "Here's your penalty on top I of it." Asked so. him if he would sign a waiver. I know. Yeah. I, I said. Cool. I, I asked him if he signed a waiver. He said he would. So. Yeah. Well, so thank, I don't have a problem with them leaving it legally parked. Yeah. Thanks for catching before that thing came yeah, through. So. Yeah, I saw you. Sure. I was like, "Hey, you good?" I didn't know if you were one of the ones that called in no. or something and saw 